Well, what a surprise. It's an honor to meet you all today. You may know me as Ryu from Street Fighter, but I'm not here for Street Fighter this time. Instead, I'm here to ask for help in bringing a story to life. You see, there's been some weird things going on around here lately and many people have been involved. The only thing is, those people don't have a voice, and that's where you come in. Be sure to watch the whole video as I tell you what you need to audition, who you can audition for, and how to audition in that order. Now about those weird things that I mentioned earlier, let's just say some fighters popped up that aren't supposed to be here. Like you, for example. Ah, that's much better. Now don't worry, we won't be tossing in every character willy-nilly and make it some weird fanfiction. Each new fighter will have their own place and part in the story. With that said, let's get started on how you can be a part of the project. The first thing you'll need, of course, is a microphone. A decent microphone. It doesn't have to be studio quality, but we at least need to be able to understand you. The second and last thing you'll need is a Skype account. You'll need it so I can send the episode script to you and you can send lines back. When we add each other on Skype, I'll add you to two group discussions. One will be a file sharing group. Do not talk on there. This is for file sending only. This is where you'll collect the episode scripts for me and where I'll collect the lines from you. The second group will be a normal conversation group where we can all get to know each other. While I am taking this project very seriously, I still want us all to have fun with it. I won't be very strict about deadlines either. If a male actor misses the deadline, I'll simply cover them for an episode. And if a female actor misses the deadline, I'll get one of the other female actors to fill in. Unfortunately, if an actor misses two episodes in a row, they'll have to be cut from the project. Hopefully, that doesn't sound too strict, as you'll have plenty of time to send in your lines. This show will be on a three-week rotation with my other show on this channel called Fictional Fights, meaning each episode of Free to Smash will be once every six weeks. I'm typically a fast worker, so I'll only need a week to edit, meaning that you'll have five weeks for every episode to send in your lines. Hopefully, that's more than enough time for you, and that about sums up what you'll need to be part of this project. A microphone, a Skype, and some time every five weeks. Now, despite me being the one to make this video, I'm not the star of the story. I'm merely his best friend. Let's go meet the star, shall we? So this is my good friend, Little Mac. He's a bit insecure, but surprisingly, it's not because of his height. It's more about his skill, which is completely understandable. When you're not very good at jumping, a fight where you have to stay on the platforms can be your worst nightmare. Luckily, he's determined to overcome this weakness and prove his strength. Now here we have Luigi, the third member of mine and Mac's team. Like Mac, Luigi is also a bit insecure, but it's less about his skill and more about living up to his brother's expectations. Luigi has been a coward in the shadows for so long and now he's finally fed up with it. He's ready to prove himself to his brother. Remember how I said some fighters showed up that aren't supposed to be here? Well, my rival Ken is one of them. He popped up one day and created his own team to join the tournament. I'm gonna get to the bottom of his sudden appearance. But for now, let's go meet more characters. Here we have the lovely Bayonetta. She's on Ken's team and unfortunately she's stuck with him because no other teams were open. Normally in her own world, Bayonetta is a seductive teaser, but here there's someone she actually has her eyes on. Unfortunately, she won't tell us who. Maybe it's another newbie like Ken. Here we have Princess Peach, the classic damsel in distress. Well, in her own world, that is. In the world of Smash, she's free to fend and stick up for herself. It's just Mario who's the one who has trouble with letting her do so. She's joining the tournament to fight Bowser and prove herself to Mario. Down here we have the King of Evil himself. He's locked away in prison, but he'll still play a major role. While he's normally the ringleader, surprisingly Ganondorf is playing second fiddle this time. There's an even bigger threat to this world than Ganondorf, and he has to work with them whether he likes it or not. Two more characters to go. Here we have Samus Aran. She's not participating in the tournament, but she still has an important job. She works for the next guy we're about to show you as his bodyguard, she's the law enforcement of this world, and she has no time for shenanigans as she patrols the world day in and day out. Maybe it's about time someone showed her how to have a little fun. And here's the last character that we need. He's Pac-Man, the mayor, the president, whatever you want to call him. He's in charge of anything and everything that goes on around here. He got his reputation and job from being one of the happiest and friendliest faces around here. In fact, some would say he's so happy and friendly that it's actually kind of creepy. Well, now that you know everyone that's available to audition for, now I'll tell you how you can audition. But first, make sure you subscribe to Leopold the Brave on YouTube. This is where the episodes and anything related to this show will be posted. Just thought I'd bring that up as this video will be posted everywhere, so there's a chance you may not be watching this at the original source. 
So again, that's Leopold the Brave on YouTube. Now to audition there are two methods. One, you could simply make a video of your audition on YouTube. Just come up with some lines for the character or characters you're auditioning for and upload the video. Just make sure to have Leopold the Brave or Free to Smash in the title so I can find it easier. The second way is on castingcallclub.com. On that website there will be more details about the characters and preset audition lines so you won't have to come up with any. The link to that will be in the description below. But if you're auditioning on YouTube, then you could simply go to Casting Call Club and look at the lines there and record it for your video. It doesn't really matter to me which one you choose and you can audition for as many characters as you like. The deadline will be early December and I hope to hear from you soon. Anyone can have a shot at this because anyone is free to smash. Joy!